You can't see it with your naked eye or even feel it with your fingers, but a surface texture error likely caused. Hi, I'm Lake, the motor oil geek, and according to the NHTSA, out of spec crankshaft surface finish is the root cause of the L87 recall, which has affected nearly 900,000 vehicles. This unfortunate real world example just shows how important surface texture really is. Oddly enough, the most studied surface in an engine isn't the crankshaft. It's actually the cylinder bore, which is why we're here at John Causey Racing Engines to introduce you to my good friend, Dr. Mark Malberg, who is a surface finish guru. So Mark, how do we measure something you can't even see or feel? Well, I mean, that's what we've been doing all our lives with things like microscopes and other things. But in the case of surface texture, we're going to measure it with a, with a very small diamond okay. and electronics that sense how it moves up and down. Think of it like a vinyl record player on steroids. Obviously, we want it to make good music, not bad music. <laughs> yeah. Right? The, the GM song is pretty sour right now right well don't blame the record player all right okay but, yeah. but we're going to figure out what song it's playing with a measurement system so here's a gauge right here behind us there's a little tiny diamond poking out in there and it's a cone and the tip of the cone is that two micron radius why is it important well it's important because this surface means everything when it's pressed against another surface if i make this surface against a piston ring it's a different scale, but it still matters. And that scale of putting, say, a piston ring against this cylinder bore, that's where sealing happens. That's where combustion is contained. That's where friction happens. That's where lubrication happens. That's where debris yeah. happens. Everything happens at that interface. So explain what you're holding right now. Yeah, so this is a 3D printed section of a cylinder bore. So this is a two-dimensional profilometer. It, it gives you a trace a line across this surface so i used a 3d roughness measuring system i used it right i know that's it it's just super cool it's super cool right so i use a 3d measuring system that uses optics and light to get super high resolution data this is the size of the tip of your pen <laughs> 